Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy, coming to you on Tuesdays, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate, home ownership, and community related. Today, I have with me Executive Director of the Lake Orion DDA, Molly Lalone. Hey, Molly. Hello, Tracy. <laughs> and we are continuing on in our series about the DDA. So, all things DDA. If you had any questions about what the DDA is, what it does, how it gets its funding, what what is coming up for the DDA? This is the series that you want to tune into. So thank you for being here again, Molly. Appreciate my you pleasure. and your time. And so today we are going to be talking about the DDA and its funding. Mm -hmm. Where does the money come from? Show me the money, <laughs> right? <laughs> so yeah, yes. so where does the DDA get it, the money for its budget to do all of the things that it does? Uh, yeah, let's talk some more acronyms, huh? Yeah. <laughs> We've got DDA, that means Downtown yeah. Development authority and then yes. we have TIF revenue which is tax incremented funding TIF oh, okay. tax incremented funding and what okay. that means is the taxes that are normally t collected in uh -huh. um in the the downtown development authority itself that's a list of properties yeah those taxes get redirected um specifically for our local community for okay. downtown development and and if you didn't tune in to last week's episode we we talked about that how you know you're paying your taxes one way or another, mm -hmm. um, and the but this is a way that our local like government, right, like the village mm -hmm. council through the DDA is able to capture, right. So mm -hmm. we're able to guarantee that some of those taxes, instead of going off wherever else the government wants to use it, it gets to come back into our community, and we get to decide how it's used. Yeah, and there are so, rules. We yeah. um, with taxes, you know, the taxes are collected, and they have to be used for the use that um, it says that they're going to be used for. Okay, and that's why this is a state law allowing okay. us to redirect our taxes locally. Okay, but those taxes still have to be used for the purpose that the law says that they are for. So right. this is for downtown development. However, there's a really long list of what downtown yeah. development is, <laughs> including yeah. events, infrastructure, um, programs. I mean, we, you know, all yeah. of the things that we do, those are listed in the law that we are allowed to do them. Okay. And we all have right. to, and that money has to be spent within the area where we've collected the taxes. Okay. Um, so we don't get to collect the taxes and then use them somewhere else um, within the community. We do have right. to be, we have to follow the rules. Right, right. Um, <laughs> but but we still, we get to, we have we have more community investment because of a DDA. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Without mm -hmm. a doubt, the DDA has been yeah. fantastic. Um, I mean, early on in moving out to Lake Orion, you know, I learned about and became involved with the DDA. I, fun fact, I actually worked for the DDA for a short period of time, and it was really one of the best experiences. I mean, I still have relationships with some of the business owners and I mean, really it's what you, what you do at the DDA is fantastic um, for our community, for our businesses. Um, and yeah, so by having the DDA, we're able to, I mean, and again, like you said, within a list of here, here's what the funding mm -hmm. needs to be used for. But yeah. If we didn't have, if, if the DDA wasn't capturing those funds to be used for those reasons, we would have no say. Right. And the, yeah, yeah, the taxes would still be yeah. collected. There's no there's no question. It's no. not taxes go up because you have a DDA or taxes go down. Right. It's none of that. These are your taxes. You have to pay them regardless. But right. um, in this particular case, um, we get more community, more local investment. Yeah. Um, well, so you get to, your dollars are doing more work here. And, and that's the thing too, right? So the DDA gets community members, business owners involved. Right. Mm -hmm. There are a number of different committees um, in which, you know, you do the planning for mm -hmm. some of that. We talked about the last episode, some of the projects and the events and, you know, the some of the historic, you know, preservation. And you can get involved. Mm -hmm. Anybody yes. can get involved and be a part of it and you mm -hmm. can have a say. So it's not just, OK, the DDA is capturing this money, but then somebody at the DDA is deciding what to do with it. No, we all can have a say. Mm -hmm. And um yeah. Yes, our offices are open Monday through Friday, 9 yeah. to 5. It's 118 North Broadway. We are looking for your input. If you have something that you want to talk to us about, please come and talk to us. Yeah. Also, we have monthly DDA board meetings. Um, those are um, the third Tuesday at 630 at the Village Hall. Please and come talk to us then. You can send us emails. Um, you can look at our website and see what we're doing. One of the things um, that goes along with the 
um, collecting of those taxes is also some accountability. Okay. And uh, we do send a report um, annually to the Michigan State Treasury Office. Okay. And they, you know, if they think we're not using our funds correctly, they can take the funds away. Right. And we don't want that to happen, of right. course. Which has never happened. I mean, no, it's our, never happened. It's no. never happened. No. Our DDA is very responsible and, mm-hmm. you know, and everything. Yep. But, but yeah, just giving some assurance that there are mm-hmm. those checks and balances, you yeah. know, they can see, they know how much money is coming in because yep. we all know, like the government <laughs> likes to know, you know, how much money is out there and what's coming in. So they yeah. know what's being captured and then they get to see by the report that's sent in okay here's where the money is going and has gone right. so right and also yeah. there's some re- reporting requirements um that we have to put on our website okay and this is all new this happened in 2018 the law changed and started requiring this more um transparent accountability so if you go to downtownlakeorian.org and go to okay. the about us tab okay you'll see all of the information that we collect um and you can see everything that we're doing it's very transparent okay that's great so if if you yeah. want to learn more information as to what the requirements are, you know, what the money is being used for, you can go right on the DDA's website and you can have access to all of that information. So I know we talked about the taxes and the tax mm-hmm. capture. Are there any other places that funding comes from for the DDA? We also do a sponsorship program to help okay. fund our events. Okay. And this is um, allowing businesses and individuals an opportunity to put their name um, and align themselves with that branding of that event. We've got um, the holiday sing and stroll. Yes. Um, and we uh, we had horse and carriage rides. I mean, all of that yeah. takes some money. And we, we get, we're very thankful for the support that we get we, from our businesses. We have some great local business mm-hmm. owners. Um, yeah. It's not just the brick and mortar. We have the brick and mortar, but we have some others. I know some of my fellow realtors and others are sponsors. And Mm -hmm. it's so great because because of that, it adds to the budget and they're sponsoring specifically that there's so much more and like Mm -hmm. the horse and carriage rides. And I I mean, there's just more that you're able to do, which is which is awesome and brings the community together. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. All of you. You know who you are. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, yeah. And then I think you had mentioned before there's another source of funding, which we're going to talk a little bit more in the next um, episode because we're going to be talking about that program. But um, you were mentioning some of the accreditations that the DDA yes. has. Yeah, so. because of some of the accreditation and yeah. certifications that we have, we are able to bring more money into the community. And we wouldn't be able to do that without those accreditations and certifications. And, and these accreditations, these are not something that, oh, if you have a DDA, you have to have these accreditations. It's, it's our choice. Your, it's your yeah. choice, which holds our DDA to a higher standard, yes. but also helps to bring in some of those additional funds so that we can actually do even more for the community or you can do even more for the community. I'm, I'm putting yeah. myself in the bucket there with you. <laughs> so, so yeah, but. I mean, it's, uh, the purpose is to make sure that we've got a, um, in downtown where organizations and businesses and people can thrive. Yeah. And I think we see that. Yes. We see that in um, downtown when you walk around, you can oh, see. Oh, we definitely do. I, I, we're a thriving, happy I place. moved to Lake Orion in 08, and I moved into the village in 2011. And wow, the mm-hmm. difference, like how much it's grown and the energy. It's so fantastic. Mm-hmm. I love it. So. so, you know, some people worry about how their taxes are being used. And um, I just want you to know that um, taxes being used in this particular way, this is helping your your property values. Absolutely. And it's, and it's helping yes. us to be able to have the businesses that we enjoy so much. Yes. Yeah. Um, you're, 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 you're saying it for me. <laughs> but no, I, we've actually, we've definitely seen an increase in the home values, especially mm-hmm. in those homes that um, are close to, and especially those that are walking distance to the downtown. Um, that has definitely, the the increase in the values has been, I mean, extreme. <laughs> yeah, so. actually, we did a comparison, and yeah. our trend is actually 13 to 15% higher than areas surrounding us, yeah. including Rochester, including Orion Township. I, the, you know, there is a very significant um, difference uh, um, in those home values, the trend, the yeah. you know what they were before and what they are now, it's thirteen to fifteen percent higher in the areas that are um, in the downtown area. And it shows the houses they, they don't last. In no. fact, we have people trying to find them before they come on the market. Yes. So. <laughs> 
So good well, problem. Yes, very good problem. Good problem. Yeah. <laughs> well, same with the businesses. Those the spaces in downtown. Uh, people yeah. are always calling. I mean, we we had some property owners create space because I kept calling and saying, "Hey, I'm looking yeah. for some stuff," and they're finally go, "Well, how would I build this? <laughs> you know, I'm going to take out this garage and put in a a, a storefront. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And that it, works. And they've been built. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is fantastic. Well. Thank you for joining us again, Molly. And again, if you want more detail and you want to see, you know, what the requirements are for the DDA's budget and how money is being spent, just feel free to head to their website and uh, you can get more of that detail. But stay tuned next week. We're going to be talking a little bit more about these accreditations that our DDA has and how that brings some extra funding. So thank you for joining us, Molly. Thank you all for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Tea with Tracy. Bye.